This WordPress tutorial by Mark McLaren of McBuzz Communications is called How to Make Menus of Links Using the Blog Roll in WordPress. Uh, what is the blog roll? This is a good question. And um, to, to people who uh, blog, bloggers as they are called, uh, the blog roll is something that, that's kind of inherent to, to what they do. Um, because it's it's where you would list all of the other people that that you uh, are associated with, or you co sort of um, have a uh, blogging you know camaraderie with, uh, and you would have a link to their blog on your blog. So some blog rolls are extremely long, and uh, others are quite short. But for people who are using WordPress as a business, you know, for a business website, um, blog roll is probably not the best uh, title of a list of links to use. And a lot of times people will use a uh, title like favorite links, okay? Now there are a couple of uses for the menus that, that you can create using the blog roll, and I'll show you what those are. The, f the first is uh, fairly obvious. You can have a link to another site, any site. You know, if you have a favorite link, um, one of my favorites is Mark McLaren at McBuzz.com. But, you know, you can load this up. How do you do it? Let's go into our dashboard here. Um, under blog roll, okay, I've already got the tab open, but here's the main blog roll management window. Okay, and this lists all of the links that you've added to to any of the the um, list that you're keeping track of. And the way they're differentiated or, or divided up is by category. So you can see out here I have blog roll and favorite links. Okay, two different categories if you look in the blog roll, uh, the manager for blog rolls. And you can add as many of those categories as you like. And what will happen, as you'll see, um, let's try just adding a new one here. And the way I'm going to do it, you, you can go under Categories. Okay, you can do, do it one of two ways. Now, if I add a new category, I'm going to call this category um, Great Websites. I can put a description in here if I want to. I should, but I'm not because I'm just for the sake of time. Okay, so that category has now been added. As you can see, I'll kind of blow this up here. All right. So now I have, and don't worry about the ID here. That is not something we have to um, concern ourselves with. You can see that the default is blog roll, and I have favorite links and great websites. Um, so if I want to add a link to great websites, I can call this whatever I like. Um, how about uh, Google, one of my true favorites, and I put their web address in here under address, okay, and then I should put in a detailed description as well. That's important for um, for the sake of the site that you're linking to more than anything. And now you can see that I have here my categories to choose from, blog roll being checked because it's the default, but if I uncheck that, okay, I can click on great websites and this is ready to go. Um, you can also here under categories when you're adding a link just sort of uh, on the fly create a new category, new, new category okay um, because I am not a creative person I'm putting in a new category as the new category. Uh, now it's possible to assign that to, to both and that would show up in both lists, but as it is, I'm going to uncheck new category. Just wanted to show you that that is possible. Click on add link. And now I should have a third, this is always a moment of uh, some trepidation. Oh good, it worked. So now you can see, uh, blow this up too, for you. 
I have now uh, three lists of links over here on in the sidebar. Okay, blog roll, favorite links, and great websites. So that's our first lesson. Um, you've seen then how to add a new category and a new link underneath that category. So you don't have to put everything in the blog roll. You can create new sets of links in that way. And uh, in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to create even more kinds of menus using the blog roll.